Hello and welcome everyone in this data science course for consultants. So today we will try to give an illustration of a basic example of regression analysis. So the business case here is to predict for an HR human resource team a salary. So we are trying to predict a salary and the HR team has provided us some sample uh, data for us to create a model. So to do that, today we will be using SAP Business Objects Predictive Analytics tool. As you can see, the tool comes with two major options, automatic analytics and expert analytics. So what is the difference? Not much. Only that automated and an analytics side supports more rigorous or more complex data structures. Uh, it has the same algorithms built, but it can go into more um, deeper regression models. Whereas expert analytics is basically a, a rush or fast way of accomplishing the same thing and probably for a more simplistic data sets we have. So let's get started. So here we will first create a model based on the given data by the HR. We will save that model and then we will try to apply that model on a, a data set which is uh, we want to predict. So to get started, let's do expert analytics. It opens a window. Okay, it's a trial copy. It gives me a warning. So here we will try to acquire data. And to acquire data, it's pretty simple. As you can see, it is also linked to Lumira Cloud, Lumira uh, Team Servers, uh, other BI platforms, including SAP. So it's pretty well established software in the, available in the market. So we'll go acquire data. And in this case, since I've already used some of these are available if not you can always go and paste on your data file click this it will lead to your uh, it will lead to your data set source and you will be able to select that in this case we will do salary data which i have already selected or which i have already identified voila it shows us, it brings the salary. It was in CSV file, so we use comma as a day limiter. It has 30 records in it, as you can see. This is on the left side is the years of experience. And the right side, we have the salary. We hit create. As you see, it's acquiring the data, bringing into the tool and the tab if you go on this dashboard you see there are three tabs four tabs uh, prepare predict visualize compose and share you see how it does so it the software is smart enough to identify data and uh, distinguish between measures and dimensions we just a uh, note on measures and dimensions so measure if people are familiar with types of variables, so in measure, it is a continuous variable where dimensions are mostly categorical variables. Uh, just for example, categorical uh, variables are of two types, ordinal and nominal. And basically, as an example, these are discrete and qualitative dimensions of your data. Um, Whereas the continuous variable is more um, 
quantitative data like age, uh, dollars, and uh, and stuff like that. Whereas uh, dimensions, maybe more uh, what kind of gender you are uh, in the scale of uh, likability factor you like the most or you you are the least like something like that so that's how it's distinguished here one thing more you note what it did this software automatically since it saw salary it it sums it up and created a measure variable the first thing is we don't want this so we will go and change the aggregation because this is not an exercise where we want to aggregate salary and do some diagnosis in it so that's not what we want so i changed it so now if you want to lay it out as a graph it's pretty easy as you can see so we'll just put since there's only two dimension it's pretty simple here if you want to put colors on the legend we can do it gives different colors on it um, we can put labels or rankings like you want to see the top 10 salary for example we just do top 10 and we can get just the top 10 salaries here um, if you want to put label oh sorry they wanted to put clear chart if, if you want to put labels you can go and show labels on it things like that so this is what we do um, on the preparation if you want to look at the data one more time you can see your data up and close you see for a lot of years we have this on the visualized slide there's one one good slide also to look and this especially when we talk about regression is a chart how these charts flows uh, so for now our goal is to predict so let's uh, go into the main part of it as you see our data source is here now we have to apply a uh, algorithm to this data source to predict there are a lot of choices of algorithm and this is where your knowledge of business and a little bit knowledge of or experience on statistics comes handy. So there are a lot of algorithms on, and model types, association, classification, clustering, decision tree, you name it in regression. There are multiple types of regression, there are time series. So we have to be experienced enough to understand which one will apply and i think this goes more in core understanding of data science as a science itself before you apply these you need to understand what these uh, means and then only you can think of how it is applied so this is a little bit of deeper discussion for here just to demonstrate a predictive analytics in action we will just select linear in this case what we do is we do configure settings i select uh, years of experience as my independent and salary as my dependent and we want to see the production value we are all set now we're going to run this Voila, execution is complete. And here you see all the magical predictions. So you see uh, for two years, this was the actual salary and this is the prediction salary. Same thing for this. Uh, if you see the trend chart, model is good. It's really able to predict. You see the green line in the prediction. Some are exceptions in some of these cases, which is already always happens. And to see the summary, this is a statistical summary of what we ran. The most important figure to in this statistical summary is your R square. So people who are familiar with statistics would note that R square is uh, basically a factor of fitness so higher the number the more fit your results are or more closely this a uh, good model let's put that way in a simple way so it's ranges between zero and one one being the highest or zero to hundred percent however we put it 
If you see 0.957, this is a pretty significant result, means that this model is pretty good. It's a very good uh, model in this case, and you see the goodness confidence is also very high. So what we will do is we will accept this model. So to do that, we will just uh, go in and save the model. And we will say test model. Test model. We will save it. And you see the model is saved here. So now, if you go through the steps again, so we had an HR giving us a task to, to create a predictive model. And they gave us some sample of data. 30 samples, 30 data, and which we ran a linear regression and we created a model and saved it. Now we have some data which is also uh, available but without the predicted value and we will need to predict and I'll show you how. So to that we will just go and create a new analysis. Since we don't need this data we will, we will Look for another set of data. We will go to prepare. We go and we go and select this. As you see in this data set, we have zero salaries with no for multiple years of prediction. So this is what we want to predict. So we go here. And uh, we see the data coming through. So you, as you see again, there is nothing here. So there is no salary and HR wants to predict. And again, this is a sample. So just to illustrate how a predictive analytics in a very basic form, how it works. So we again go back here. This time, instead of using a regression or different algorithm, we'll use our own model. So just double click it. You make sure the configuration settings are as we want it, which is right. And then we run. So we are running this test model, which we had created in the earlier steps against a data which has no salary predicted. So we want to see the prediction. So we run. And we see the prediction value. So that is Good, we see prediction values for us. And just scrolling down through, looks like it has predicted all the values. It looks good just to make the trend chart one more time. It's beautiful, as beautiful as it can get on the regression. So as you see, in a very simple way, how, how are we able to predict?